Hi everyone, it's Ricky, and today I am here to show off a product that the Sweet Stamp Shop sent over to me. Um, I've been working with them for the past couple months, uh, making some cards and showing off some other stamp sets that they've had new releases for. And they have another, I guess it's a subscription box is what you would call it. It's from the Sweet Art Society. And Sweet Stamp Shop sent me a box over so I could take a look at it, what's inside of it and play around with some of the products. So today I'm just gonna unbox it and play a little bit with it, but later on I'm gonna do another video of me, you know, making something with the products that are inside. So this is the box. I love the design. Celebrating the artist and all of us, Sweet Art Society. The front of the box, I love it. The drawing, love it. It's really exciting. So the reason this box was made is because Nicole, the owner of the company, wanted to curate a box of products that people could use instead of hoard because as stampers and card makers, hoarding items is a problem for us, especially for me. I just did a whole uh, Instagram story about how I had a pile of stuff and I didn't have anywhere to put it. and. Ah, uh, it was a process, but anyway, so this is the box. I'm going to open it and we're just going to look at some of the things that are in here and maybe use some of it and then go from there. So this is the box. So the first thing that looks like you get are some um, instructions or literature about what's inside the box. Um, it looks like there's going to be distress spray stains in this box. And then it looks like it gives some instructions on how to do a few things, some card samples, all that good stuff. I like the paper it's printed on. It's smooth um, quality. I like it. So, okay, we have some uh, distressed, distressed spray stains. Now, I have to say, I don't have any of these. So, I've never had this before. So I'm kind of excited that I got this box so I could try the product before I actually buy like big containers of it. Um, let's see if it tells us what colors we have here. I'm pretty sure it does. We have picked raspberry, wilted violet. This is probably spun sugar, festive berries and tarnished brass. And I don't know if you could see this. Let me hold it. Uh, it's probably a little too dark up there. But it has like a glimmer to it. It's shiny. It's nice. So we'll shake these up because I'm not for sure if they require it, but we'll try it. Um, and then some other things that you get here. Um, now the stamp sets that are put inside these kits or the subscription box, um, they do not get released. So you can only get them in the subscription box. So we have one that's called Love You, E-W-E, -E, cute, love it. Let's put that down. Hey, every once in a while, you find a relationship that raises the bar. That's great. I love that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> you are so beautiful to me. That's hilarious. So that's the stamp set. And then it comes with, um, this is a card base. So you would actually fold this in half and this is what you would make your card out of. Um, there's four of them in here. One, two, three, four. And then here's some thicker card stock. Pretty sure this is what you're gonna use to spray everything on, which is really nice. Let me see if they tell us what kind of paper it is. Um, I do not see that. So it's really thick. It seems like 110 pound. Not for sure maybe what brand it is, but it's really thick. I enjoy that. And then, let's see here. Then we have some envelopes to put your cards in. So that's that, and then we have all this fuzzy stuff. Re make sure you recycle this, do not throw it away. You can recycle all this paper. 
you can recycle the box or you could keep your stuff in the box depending on how much room you have so let me stick this to the side here all right so we have these distressed stain inks and i have never used these before so i'm kind of nervous the instructions say you should have like a box that you should spray in i don't really have a box so just to play with it a little bit i am going to yeah like there's a hole where is it one second so like they have like a whole box here or a trash can um but i'm gonna be brave and I'm going to use this watercolor pan that I have here. And then um, we're just going to spray some a uh, piece of paper and see how this works. I've never done it before, so this is my first time. I'm a little nervous, actually. Should we do two pieces at one time? Let's try that. Let's just do this. So let's first do Wilted Violet. Ooh, it's pretty. I like that. It's nice. And then this looks like festive berries. A good thing, if you have a labeler, maybe put some labels on the side. And then if you do end up buying the bigger bottle, you could always make smaller bottles if you travel and do like crafty things with your friends. You could always do that. So let's try this one. Ooh, very nice color. I like that. And it seems pretty contained. It's not too bad. It's not on my desk so far, so that's good. We're just going to spray all the colors. Because that's what we do. We just... A nice red. Ooh, that red is bright. What is this color? Let's see here. Um, that's probably... This is probably Festa Berries. This one is picked raspberry. Maybe this one's spun sugar because it's just lighter than all the other stuff. Ooh, I'm liking this. It's nice. And probably what we could do is the stuff that's on the side, we could spray some water on that and probably put it on some water paper and then you don't waste any, or watercolor paper and then you don't waste anything, which is nice. We're going to shake this one up because it has some shimmer in it. And then we're gonna go from there. Here we go. Ooh. I may have put too much on there, but you know what? That's fine. It's fine. So this is what it looks like. And we'll set this over to dry a little bit while we play around with. So we have this. We're gonna try to work something out of this. Let me get some watercolor paper. This is my fancy watercolor paper holder. Um, let's see. We'll just do some Strathmore. This is how I label it. This It's not anything fancy. It's kind of ridiculous, but here we have a little piece here. We can play around with this. So probably what I'll do is I'm going to spray the paper and then rub it across here. So we'll just get that nice and wet. And then we'll just pick up. It'll be like smushing. Uh, it's all right. It's a little brown. It's a little sad, actually. But hey, we play we play around with stuff to make sure it works, or maybe come up with a new idea. Let's spray this maybe a little bit and see what we can come up with. If anything, you could always just cut this up and paper piece it into a project with a background, cover it with vellum. You could do that to cover up some of the harsh lines, but actually it's not looking too bad. It's pretty nice. And it's helpful because we're not wasting any product. looks like there's a lot here, so I'll probably end up wasting some of it, but that's all right. So then maybe let's get some more gold in here.
So yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty good. I actually like that. It's pretty nice. These kind of remind me, um, some of you guys may be too young to remember this, but these kind of remind me of like Lisa Frank stickers or Lisa Frank folders, if you remember all that. Um, these are pretty cool. I can't wait to make a project out of these. Um, and actually, they're pretty much, they're a little wet, but it's not bad. You can dry this off with a gun, probably. Let's see. This might get a little loud for a second. This thick cardstock is actually pretty nice. And I'm actually recording this while we're live. Well, live for me. I usually do voiceovers for my videos, but this is not a voiceover, which is kind of cool. We're going to set this one to dry because I don't really want to use that yet. But maybe we could just do a short project with these really quick with one of them. Let me bring the stamp set back up. Let me see what we got here. So this is going to require some coloring, and I'm not ready for that because I don't have everything set up. But um, what I imagine with this is just Copic coloring this bunny or some of the hearts. And then just putting it on the card with maybe the love you on the corner here. Um, I think that would be kind of nice. Let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Um, or maybe just... Um, we could actually probably, you know what we could do? Let's work on a background real quick because probably what we could do, um, let me test this out. One second. Because we need to make sure that embossing powder will not stick to the sink because if it's still too wet. So I just get a plain piece of paper here and what I like to do is just test it out to see if it sticks oh it's actually not too bad let me get my brush here we're gonna just scrape this off okay so I'm gonna dry this a little bit more probably fast forward through this because you don't want to hear it again yeah I think we're good all right so we're gonna put this back into the container really quick people use coffee filters I just use thick cardstock or whatever kind of cardstock I have that's available I'm gonna stick this up here for a second then we are gonna take these hearts put them on a stamping block which I have one from Sweet Stamp Shop. And it has a grid on it. We're really not gonna be using the grid because we're gonna put this like every different way that we can. And we're gonna use some embossing ink. And basically what we're gonna do is just kind of this everywhere and make like a background heart let's see we did it that way we'll go here and there's no like science to this you kind of just do different ways you could you could do it like straight across but I like to kind of have a little chaos. Maybe some up, down, upside down hearts. And this is just for fun. So 
just testing out the products to see. All right, let's put some embossing powder on this. Let's go. It's not too bad. Got some good coverage. A few spaces missing but you know what it's not bad that could be covered up if we need to or we could just leave it the way it is let's emboss this real quick You can also put the heat gun under the paper to keep it from warping and kind of put it both ways. my finger a little bit this paper's a little hot it's thick so it holds heat but yeah here we go that's the background that we're going to be using i'm going to use it in a future card but hey it's nice so you guys you should definitely check out um the sweet art society you can check them out at sweetartsociety.com you could also check them out on instagram going to sweet art society and see what you um you know, see what you were interested in. The boxes contain different things every month. So um, this month is December. Um, you could go check this out. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you have gr a great holiday. And we, or I will be back. This is live. It's so weird for me. I can't correct myself. But um, I'll be back with a card making video pretty soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.